All right, what's going on, guys? This is Aviation uh, Theory, and this is probably, hopefully, the first video I've ever actually made, like an actual gaming video. I uh, apologize for that, and um, the reason why is because I was trying a new video editor, and I and, uh, I didn't want to try Bandicoot because of the watermark at the beginning, but I'm gonna use Bandicoot again for a while until because um, for certain reasons until uh, I don't know just. Anyways, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded, like, an actual gaming video. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this next one. Uh, yeah. I remember what you did. They have remembered who. You were the reason that we were all there it happened because of you and you can't tell anyone why you would you it's your fault all of it warning this game can say sudden loud noises oh my god potential uncomfortable imagery for the best experience uh... please use headphones okay turn up volume until you can hear the rain I, I okay. Well, what is going on, everybody? This is Obi Gish there. Welcome to Five Nights at Candy's Three. Now, if you guys remember, I played Five Nights at Candy's the first one, and I did play the second one. I didn't finish it at all. I might replay it if you guys want me to. That is, I'm gonna stop. Just it. Anyways, yeah. Also, I'm sorry for not uploading uh, and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and edit this video tonight and uh, upload it today. Hopefully again tonight I'm gonna use Bandicoot cut again. I'm gonna use it prop because like, I need to edit videos. I'm like, yeah, I don't care anymore. Uh, well, I do really care that it has the watermark on it. That's the reason why I stopped making videos because it has the watermark. And I tried using another video editor. I'm gonna stop talking and just play this game. Anyways, I'm going off topic again. Yes, I'm wearing a hat because um, I got a haircut today and um, I just wanted to wear a hat. It's, just, it's not bad. I'm just saying that. It's just. Like where you have so it's pretty short, like that. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Crap. I'm gonna have to wear both headphones, anyways. Yeah. So let's get into a new game. Now, I've actually played this before. I, I've seen the cutscene. I actually reset my data so you guys could see it. I I beat the first night, but uh, I but my audio was too well. My my mic was too low, and yeah. Anyways, moving on. How are you feeling today? It's been two weeks. I understand that it was very traumatic. It was a very traumatic experience. Uh, I, I, I'm a little sick. Well, actually, no. I just, I don't know. I have a little tiny cold. I think that's why my nose stepped up. Well, I don't really have a cold, anyways. Let me explain this, anyways. Let's just get back into this, okay? But luckily, your brother wasn't seriously hurt. You have, you have to remember, they weren't real. They were just machines. They weren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just broken. But it's okay now. You're safe here. You've remembered them from the theater. And yes, the old one. The one that you and your father went to a year ago, right? Your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other that day when the incident happened. You Have you still had nightmares since we last met? What were they about those monsters you drew for me? You're very great. You're a very creative little. You're a very creative girl. I can't think of a freaking word. But you can't let your fears take control of your imagination. In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fears. You have to face the monsters. Show them that you're not afraid. Do you understand? It's the only way. Done? Okay. Now, Mary. That's the person's name. Um, Mary Schmidt was actually the person we played as in the first game of Final Fantasy Candies. So, yeah. One second. Hold on. Sorry about that. That was just someone just messaged me. I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. I kind of want to wear both headphones, but at the same time, I don't want to because I don't want to talk way too loud. Alright, so we can go talk to this guy. 
What was I saying earlier? I think Mary, yeah, we were playing as Mary Schmidt in the first game of Five Nights at Candies. This is who we are, most likely. That's, this is us when we were younger, most likely. Anyways, I'm sorry, I just, hello, it's me. I'm the origami cat. Now, why, how am I here? You're dreaming right now, sort of at least. This room you're in is your old room, but before you moved. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. In the first game, there is an Easter egg where you'll see the origami cat appear on a shelf in, in, a, in one of the cameras. Yeah, you'll see it appear on one of the shelves for you. But right now, it looks like you, like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I am here. I am Kate. I am Kate. Is this incapable? I don't know. I have dead pixels on my screen. I can barely read. I, oh, I have a couple. I didn't see. I. I didn't see. Have a. I don't know. Of tricks to fighting the monsters. Remember a few years ago when you had trouble sleeping almost every night? So your dad gave you a cassette tape player with. with a tape with quiet music that. that he made for you so you could so go to sleep. I bet it would would also help you with sleeping better now. The other thing is, the monsters hate light, so I suggest flashing light in their eyes whenever you can, unless they're under your bed. Listen for the if they go under, go there. In such case, peek under the bed to see which side they're on, they're at, and then back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back will lure them. Lure them out from under the bed. Listen closely for the sound of them peeking out, and then face back toward them, the opposite end of the room again. Give, give them a good douse of the light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here if you need if you need my help. Okay, one second, guys. Hold on, one second again. All right, uh, excuse me about that. Okay, so we go out into here. Hold shift run. This is the streamscape. This is this is where your deepest memories are. Okay. I'm talking to you from the dreamscape. See those glowing particle thingies? They make up a path. The tape player should be somewhere ahead. Just remember to stay on the path so the shadows can't can't get you. If you get lost, I can set I can get you back, but only if you're on the path. I can reach you only if you're out. I can't reach you if, if you're out in the darkness. Let me know if you need to get back by pressing R. Beware of the shadows. Stay on the path. Okay. I probably should have checked. I don't know what my recording quality is. This is actually going really smooth. I actually don't know. Oh yeah, this is a path I thought. I don't know. There's nothing on the back. Oh. Duh. The path does not necessarily lead to every destination. Alright, let's grab a ride. Which way did we go? Alright, did we come through this way? Oh, hey, there's a little car. Whoa, hey, slow down there. It's... It's you, my old friend. I thought you had forgotten about me. It's... Been kind of boring in here. There isn't much room for racing around in, in the toy box. I remember back when you used to have a race every day. That was lots of fun. We should totally do that sometime again. Oh well, I bet you didn't come all the way down here for me. You should, get, you should get what you came for and then hurry back to safety. If you need anything, say it now. Okay, the, that is an Easter egg. I think, yeah, you can type in stuff to those guys and uh, you get. And, and, uh, uh, but you have to do other stuff before that. Like, I think you have to beat the game before you are able to do that. Okay, so. Part of a newspaper article. Read it. Frick, yeah. 
After closing soon, the brand new wire, ad wire animatronics were sent back to Rumors are circulating that the animatronics will be used as a base base for newer designs of advanced fully mobile animatronics which are speculated to be used for a future product for a future project. Alright. Do not be afraid of stepping slightly off the path. Stepping too far away from the path, however, and that is when you should be afraid. Alright. Now let's go this way. So I think, yeah, the kids, I think the tape is the other way, but I just want to explore this place for a little bit. This is the same article. Article, read it. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yes. It closes soon. These are all the same. We're just going to quickly do this. I'm able to walk away now. Oh crap, I didn't mean- oh, thank you. I thought I would read it again, but I gotta wait. Okay, this is- okay, this is, I think, the other way we have to go. That oh, crap. Okay. Found the tape player, and this is found arcade game number one. So yeah, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to also find those while we're doing this. Oh yeah, our back to the dreamscape. Yes. All right, so let's talk with you, I guess. Great, you found it. Do you remember how to use the tape player? Okay, yeah, I know how to play it. I use it, so yeah. The tape can uh, be sleeping well, which makes the night so much. Okay, there's three buttons that on it that work. Play stop one. Unfortunately, the pause and fast forward buttons are broken, but they aren't useful <coughs> to you to you now anyway. So don't mind them. Press play to play the tape. To stop to stop the tape where it is. You can only rewind the tape after stopping it. You can stop rewinding by pressing stop while the tape is rewinding. Once the tape finishes playing, you, you rewind it as much as you can. That's all good luck with, with it. That's all good luck with the nightmares. I'm rooting for you. Okay. Go to sleep. Yes, now this is where we go into the actual game. Finally. Jeez. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Um, I'm sorry if my talking's bad. I don't know. This. Alright, so... Yeah, my thing is running really smooth. I don't know about my recording quality. Oh yeah, we gotta play the tape first, of course. Oh crap, not that bad. That is very skeetish, so that, that's what it says in that bear, by the way. I thought I re started rewinding it for some reason. Yeah, why is my thing going so smooth? Jeez. This is not normal. Yeah, whatever. Um... It's kind of good. There's a mark player up there, by the way. There's a Docco Smag. Um, there's Jack Septicai. There's a bunch of other ones, which I'll show you. Oh, get the frig out of here. There's Pop Goes and Rach Doug and Rachel. Those are what those guys are, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, I think, isn't that Robert from FNAF3? Oh, yeah, he's over here, isn't he? Oh, crap. Trying to hear the noise. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought I, I keep hearing noises. Well, there you are. All right, I'm gonna actually put this on so I can hear better. Oh crap! This tape stopped. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping my recording quality is good. It might be. I have no idea. Why am I even? Oh, you get the frick in there. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's play the tape. I don't know how much I have to record because um. No, I know. I think I have enough. Never mind. Again, yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Crap. What's that? Oh wait. Yeah, the knocking on one side means it's on. He's on the opposite. I heard in videos. All 
I played the demo of this one time and uh yeah you get in there and uh, I was terrible at the demo and uh, yeah just wanted to say that because I'm trying to make things interesting it's just I trying to be good at commentating and stuff but I'm still getting used to like talking like to myself which sometimes it's awkward and stuff you're right there crap Bad where it's side, I think he's on. So we gotta go over to here. Okay, let's go back to the tape, which we're gonna have to. Oh, you know, maybe we were riding it. Alright, so. I know what it sounds like, I guess, now, when he when he comes out of the bed. Right. Yeah, yeah, that means he's over there. It's, I, I don't know, if you look, I think we're saying that if you hear him knock on the right, he's actually on the left. But, yeah. Sounds weird. Okay, that means he's over here. Wait, what? Oh, okay, he was in the closet. And he can be in the closet. Um, with the when you hear the knocking. I don't know. Oh, did the tape stop? Crap. Go away. I was like, oh crap, he's like right there. Up here, get back. Okay, there's other Easter eggs that I think there is. If you guys can find them, but tell me in the comments that I forget what a lot of them are. Well, actually, some of them at least. Oh, he's over here. No, he's over here. Crap, the meat's up here. Alright. What? I thought I heard him. Okay. Alright, that means he's in the closet. Oh, frick. Here he is over here. Okay. I almost thought I was kind of lucky because I almost thought I didn't hear it. All right, now we're doing good. Okay. Oh, there he is. All right, it's five a.m. There 
it goes. Great. There he is. Okay, yeah, he was in there. Yes! Alright. Alright, now we're launching into a mini game. So, this is we're playing as us in that timeline. Like, can we still run? No, we can't. Can we talk to these guys? No, okay. We can talk to other kids and our dad, which is pretty obvious once we know. <coughs> Alright, okay. What's up? I haven't seen the puppeteer's puppet yet. I've heard that it's as big as a person. That does not seem good. Because uh, that seems like something a human body would be hitting in. I don't know, I'm trying to be funny, guys. Hi, sweetie. Are you having fun? I hope you're happy with the place I picked out. It's just the two of us while your brother is at camp. So you can, so you can decide what, should, what we should have for dinner. Where's the mom? First of all, where's, the, where's our mom? It's, did, did she go to camp too? Or did she go to heaven camp? I'm trying to be funny again. These game, these arcades are so boring. I once asked the rat if we could get some new ones soon, but then he got a bit angry. The rat is a real jerk. What am I doing? All right, all right. So um, Astro Pinball, Jungle Pinball. Let me guess, more pinball. Whack-a-mole, of course. Whack-a-mole pinball? No, I don't know. Ugh, what am I even saying? There's no harm the game, share with everyone. I'll see what's the point of putting that up, because there's like one, two, three. There's like three, um, there's like only three games. Alright, yo, what's up, rat? Or, er, yeah. Hey, yeah, kid. I'm the rat. Nice to meet you. Say, the show's about to start a few minutes. Wanna play hide and seek? Where am I? Why am I talking in this voice? Nito, you go and find. You go and hide. Fine. You go and hide, and I'll stay. Stay here and count to 100. All right. <coughs> There's another girl right here. Maybe we can uh, let me talk to. What's up? Are you looking for a good hiding spot? Try hiding under one of the tables. Okay, so maybe we can hide at like one specific table that he won't actually find us at. Wait, what if we hide at a table that there's adults at or something? Or what if we hide at like we can hide in the closet also? Uh, apparently, um, why don't we hide? Do we hide in this one? We can. Let's see what else. Maybe there's a specific table we can try. What about Yeah, whatever, we'll try these. Who's gonna find us? Three, two, one. <laughs> right when I said, right, I counted down accurately. Haha, <laughs> I found you. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright. I keep saying that word a lot. Alright. Jeez. 
So that was Five Nights at Candy's 3, uh, Night 1. I'll play Night 2 in another video. I'm, I'm going to have to go edit this video. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>